So here's a patient again. Most of the patients are pseudophagic uh, with the category. A lot of these have uh, multifocal lenses, extended depth of focus lenses. I'm very comfortable using the, um, the symphony lens or the panoptic lens in patients with uh, good visual fields, healthy nerves. Here it is not at an acute angle, but I try to stay below the pupil. And you can see again, sometimes it'll migrate towards the incision site. So here's a pseudophagic patient with uh, an extended depth of focus implant. Most of these patients have had MIGS procedures as well. And the point is to try to get them off uh, as many drops as possible. This is not a real acute angle, it's a more parallel. I like maybe to do a little more acute angle if I can, but you can, whatever gets you into the eye comfortably is worth doing. Here you see another pseudophagic patient uh, for the Darista. Uh, there are sometimes she was a little bit more nervous than uh, than some, and uh, I did a little counter pressure on her with my finger, and I had a nice acute angle. And one thing you learn with this injector is if you have your finger a little bit more posterior on the injector, it will often come out faster and a little bit more uh, uh, smoothly. You can't always predict it, but you can see that this came out very quickly. So here we have uh, something I, I think should any uh, ophthalmologist is going to inject the bimatoprost. Uh, I prefer to use a wide open, not the slit beam, because I get to follow the patient a little bit better. Often they will move around a little bit. Sometimes they're a little bit nervous. Uh, the whole point is to talk to them very slowly, carefully, and prep them for this. Uh, you can you can see often sometimes it's a little hard for the upper lid to stay open so you saw someone hold the lid but there is about two bevels in click and you don't even see that thing that baby shot right out you can see it sitting at six o'clock uh, very carefully I try to now do the slit beam to show where the uh, bimatopost stent is and the product is deep into uh, the angle. These are pseudophagic patients. Uh, most of the patients right now are of the uh, Medicare group, age group. Uh, most of them are pseudophagic that I've done. I've done a fair number of phagics as well, but uh, it's been because of insurance. They're mostly uh, Medicare with secondary insurance. Uh, some of the other insurances have uh, started to accept uh, the prior authorizations. So this is a uh, demonstration of injection of the Durista or Bimatoprost uh, implant for glaucoma. Uh, the physician uh, usually will need someone else to help them hold the upper lid for the patient. I often and almost always uh, do a counter pressure, sometimes with a Q-tip, which I soak in a couple drops of Proparacaine or my finger. Uh, I think if I can use a finger on someone with a lax lid, it uh, stabilizes the eye. Often the injector um, will slowly release the, uh, the implant. Sometimes their air bubbles will shoot the implant straight up to 12 o'clock. It's rare, but it happens. Uh, the, it will eventually find its home um, in, a, in a very short period of time. If it is stuck to the injector, I will roll it around a little bit and we'll, we'll, I will show you those some other videos. Uh, after this, it's painless. It takes about 12 seconds. Patients are surprised, happy, and thankful. <laughs>